Allison. I'm Julia. And today we're going to make a sponge boat. <gasps> Have you ever made a sponge boat before, Juliet? No. Oh, this is going to be your first time. <laughs> Juliet, have you ever been on a boat before? Yeah, I have. You have? Uh-huh. Did it go fast or slow? Fast. Fast? That's because it had a motor on it. Uh-huh. Okay, so our balloon today is going to have a motor on it too. Uh-huh. Not a real motor, but it's going to be a balloon-powered motor. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Should we see what's in our kit today? Yep. All right. We have a sponge, a small zip tie, a balloon, and a piece of tubing. On top of everything you have in your kit, you'll also need a pair of scissors and a pencil and a black marker. Once you have all of that, we're ready to get started. We're ready to get started too. Okay, let's do it. Juliet, have you ever heard of Sir Isaac Newton? Um, no. He talked about the third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. That means in this balloon boat, that if we blow up the balloon, we're putting air into it, and it's going to cause it to go. That's pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you how this works before we start building it, okay? All right, I'm gonna blow into this tube. Okay, we're not in the water right now, but if we had water with us, we'd put it in the water. See how I'm keeping my finger plugged? and then we'd let it go. And as this is let go in the water, it's going to float and it's gonna go just like a boat, okay? So do you see how right here we have the pointy part of our sponge? Uh -huh. That is called the bow of the boat. The front of the boat is called the bow. So we're gonna make that first. Then the stern, that's the back of the boat, it's just flat, so we don't have to do anything there. Okay, so let's make the shape of our boat. Okay, we're going to take our sponge and fold down both corners equally. Once your corners line up, hold them with your fingers and you're gonna take your marker and you're gonna mark the bottom right there and the top right there. And that is gonna show us where to make our cuts. Let's do it on yours. So fold your corners in so that it's matching, good. And we put the marker here, here, and here. Okay, and those marks are gonna show us our lines. So now we just connect the dots. Dot to dot there, and dot to dot right there. So we cut off both of those corners now with our scissors. Okay, good job, Julia, you got it. We are going to find the middle of our sponge because the middle of our sponge is going to have a hole in it where our balloon is going to go through. There's the middle. Remember the bow side is right here and the stern is right here. So we're going to fold it in half and let those line up. We're going to go in the middle right there and then we want it to match up edge to edge. In the middle, that's in the middle. Right there. Now when you're poking a hole through a sponge, you wanna make sure not to poke your fingers on the other side. Look right here. My fingers are separated on this side where my pencil is gonna poke through. So I don't wanna poke my finger. I keep twisting it until it pokes through. Okay, oh, you're almost through, almost through. Once your pencil is poked through, you're gonna try and adjust that hole to make it a little bit bigger. Good, because we need to get our balloon through that hole. I'm gonna show you guys a trick how to get that balloon through the hole with Juliet's sponge. So we have our hole right here and the balloon right here. I'm gonna use the not sharp end of my pencil, my eraser end, and poke the balloon through, just like that. Oh. That's pretty easy, that way you don't poke a hole in your balloon, right? Yeah. So we need two holes on the stern side of our boat, that's the back of the boat, the flat side, and that will have the zip tie go through those two holes so it can secure this tube into place. Yeah. So put your sponge flat on your table, 
So I'll show you with my marker about here and here. See that gives you enough width to get the zip tie around your tube. I'm going to poke my hole in the table so I don't poke my fingers. I'm going to poke it there too, lift up the sponge. Now it's time to put our tube into our balloon. So you take your tube and when you're rolling the balloon onto the tube, you want to make sure the balloon rolls onto the tube and the tube is bending like a rainbow when you're holding it up, when you're holding the boat up like this, that there's that bend, it's bending downward like that. Okay, now it kind of is flopping around. You see that, how it's flopping around? Yeah. We're gonna secure that into place with our zip tie. Have you ever used a zip tie before? Uh, Probably no. not, right? Okay, so you don't want to put the zip tie together yet because once you get it together, it can't come off. That's the cool thing about a zip tie, but it can also be really frustrating if you didn't mean to put it together. Okay, so with our sponge facing this way, see how we see the tube in the bottom of the boat? The zip tie through the hole, and we're gonna make a loop around our tube through those holes that we made. Back to the other side. Okay, so see how my head is pointed this way so that I can insert the tail. Some of you might have the head turned around the other way and it's gonna be really hard to get the tail in there. So turn your head around the right way. Secure everything while you're doing it. Pull it tight. I'm gonna cinch it. Do you hear that? Make sure your tube has that rainbow arch to it so that it's pointing down the right way. Pull your zip tie tight. You don't have to do it too tight, but just enough so it's not flopping around. Very good. Okay, so your tube is facing up. It needs to face down. Juliet, we're ready to get these boats in the water. I'm gonna show you a trick on how to blow up this balloon. When you're blowing into it, it's going to blow up just a little bit and you're gonna be out of air. So stick your tongue in the tube while you're breathing in. And then when you breathe out, get your tongue out of the way and blow. And then when you're breathing in, stick your tongue, yep, yeah, just like that, and then blow. And then you're gonna keep your finger <laughs> over the tube once it's blown up Put it all on the water. The sponge is gonna float. And then when you're ready, let go. And that air is going to cause the sponge to go. Because for every action, like blowing air into a balloon, there is an equal reaction. So the balloon's gonna let go of the air and the sponge boat is gonna go. Are we ready to test this on the water? Yep. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, so what did we find out in the water, Juliet? Um, My boat went really fast. Yes because my balloon is bigger. And your your boat went really slow, slow because, because mine is smaller. Yeah, your balloon is smaller. Everybody has two balloons in your kit, so you can experiment with a bigger balloon and a smaller balloon, and which one that you like, and which one goes faster, and which ones go slower. Have fun with your balloon boat today, everybody. See you Bye. next time. Bye, I love my new theme. Bye. Bye. tube is curling downward. <sighs> Balloon onto your tube. The, the tube is curling. <sighs> <laughs> I'm getting 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I can do that.